Welcome to Salcedo Paranormal. It is Sunday, November 13th, 2022. And tonight I will be sharing true paranormal stories from the web. As always, you can find all episodes of the show along with links to social media and ways to contact me at the podcast page. That is salcedoparanormal.podbean.com. That's S A L S I D O paranormal.podbean.com. Always happy to hear from you all, whether you have comments or questions or topic suggestions or stories of paranormal experiences, whether they're your own or from others that you trust. Happy to either read those or have you join me on the show to talk about them. And um, so the plan for this week is uh, true paranormal stories from the web tonight and Tuesday, paranormal news tomorrow night and Thursday, and then as of right now, it looks like uh, the plan is for Derek to, to join me uh, to talk about comic books and the paranormal again. So that should be fun. Uh, of course, uh, things are always subject to change depending on how or what what's needed, but uh, that's the schedule for this week as of now. So um, also, I will be doing a, an an extra show at the end of this month. Uh, more details on that as it gets closer. I will probably only be doing extra shows once or twice a month from now on, just because I have other projects uh, in terms of writing that I'm working on, and uh, I can't do a show six or seven days a week and also get anything done in the writing. So, got to have a day or two off once a week to uh, to get to keep going with all that stuff. So, just in case anyone is wondering why there aren't there haven't been any extra shows this month. When I know the last couple months I did a lot of them. So, but, um, so yeah, I think that covers everything. Um, I think with that, I can start on the, uh, stories for tonight. So let me go over to that file and, uh, get started. Thank you all for listening, as always, whether you listen to the YouTube or podcast feeds. Um, Quick note, also, um, that now that I think about it, uh, last Wednesday's show, for some reason, would not upload to the podcast uh, website. Um, so it is a YouTube exclusive, <laughs> since that's the only place I was able to get it to upload. So um, if anyone wants to hear the show that I did with um, with Gigi from Shift, Hap Shift Happens Radio, where he uh, talked about some of his paranormal experiences, um, also where... Um, APOC called in on that show as well. Uh, you will have to go to YouTube to hear that show. So I apologize for that. But um, I tried several times and it just would not go. So uh, maybe I'll try again at some point. But for now, that show is just on YouTube. So that's why it's a good, um, good idea to, to check out both the podcast and YouTube feeds if you can. Because there may be things there that are different from one to the other. So, anyway, um, okay, so this first story here, this says, I figured I would share my ghost story that took place about five years ago, because why not? So this happened in ninth grade, and after school, my friends and I would usually take the train to get home. On this particular day, it was only me and one of my friends. Good friends, sorry. Usually we get off in the city center to connect with another bus. But on this day, for some reason, we chose to take it to the end stop. We were tired and sleepy from school, I guess. And so we did. But this had now added an hour or so from our already long day. So we were rather keen on getting back home. Though my, uh, me and my small bladder needed to use the toilet pretty urgently. Luckily, my friend knew that there was an old metro train station just beneath where we had gotten off. The station had a medium-sized red building that served as a waiting area, I suppose. It was cloudy outside, and inside this building, 
our house, the lights were off. Not a single soul to be seen. Some ironic foreshadowing. The light inside, the toilet, the bathroom, I guess I mean, was fluorescent as well. All this just really set an eerie ambience. I go to do my business, but in the midst of that, I hear my friend just completely break down. She screams at me to hurry and come out. I laughed it off thinking she was being dramatic or pranking me, which wouldn't be crazy and plausible in my defense. But I did eventually come back out and she said, I just saw a ghost. I just stood there thinking, what has gotten into this girl? But she stood her ground and guided me to a mirror that was attached to a door and told me to just stand there and wait. Not even three seconds later, this ghost, who was clearly an elderly man, he was in a train driver uniform as well, very on brand for the location, comes obliquely from behind and just floated forward straight through the door. It all happened very quickly. And so at that point, I'm just screaming my lungs out, and we sprint for the exit. It was very intense and very interesting. Uh, it was very intense and a very interesting set of events to leave it at that. There we go. I have never been opposed to ghosts existing. On the contrary, actually. But I've also found it hard to believe that they present themselves so similar to real humans. Now I know at least. And so that's an amazing story. I wonder what they mean exactly by because they're looking at the mirror and this figure floated forward. Doesn't that mean that it passed through them? Um, or do they mean something else? I'm kind of confused there, but it still sounds like they saw something. And it happened a couple of times, once for the friend on their own, and then once for the writer and the friend. So it does sound like they, they saw something. I'm just confused as to if they saw this, this apparition come forward um, while looking into the mirror on this door, does that mean it... I'm guessing that means it must have come from behind them, but I don't know. But um, still a neat sighting of an apparition of some kind could have been residual um, especially if it, if it did again over and over I'm wondering about that um, or again time loop hello APOC I see you there that's funny but um, um, but yeah so neat story there and uh, I think I'll just move on to the next story here so I have to say all these stories I found today they were um I was really, really glad that I did because some of them, they only get more interesting to me anyway. So, let's see here. Okay. This next one says, This story happened in my hometown when I think I was about eight or nine years old. My hometown is very small, though there are multiple neighborhoods and the occasional abandoned house left to rot. At that time, I didn't know much of the town history, but I knew of an old building that was called the old uh, town name, they say, school, by my classmates and teachers. Anyway, one day I was walking to school, and since the abandoned building is on my way, I took a glance at it. In one of the windows of the house, so I'm guessing they mean it was an old schoolhouse, I saw a pure white curtain flapping around because of the wind. Behind the curtain were three elderly women. They seemed to be having a conversation before looking down from the window at me, making eye, eye contact. I still have a vivid memory of the look on one of the women's faces, faces a face of confusion. I quickly broke eye contact and continued walking to school. I don't remember what happened 
that day except for that strange experience. I don't know what I saw that day. If it really happened and if I was supposed to see it, for all I know it could be a uh could be a dream, they say. The only people I have told about this experience were my mom and my friend. My mom said that I saw ghosts, like a past student of the school. But other than that, she laughed it off. My friend, on the other hand, was creeped out by the story, also telling me that I probably saw ghosts. For extra information, there is no reason for people to be entering the building, and there is no accessible entrance that I know of. The area around the building is all covered in weeds, vines, and bushes. All windows and doors are boarded up with wood, and nobody investigates the building's area. I'm not sure if I really did see ghosts or if it was a dream. I might try to get a picture of the building when I can to support my story. And it says, thank you for reading. So that's an amazing sighting. Um, even if it was some kind of a dream, that doesn't rule out it could have been some kind of paranormal dream. Some kind of contact with these, possibly these uh, women there. I wonder the mom's response that it could have been former students. Um, that's an interesting idea, especially if maybe they really enjoyed being in that building and that's where they kind of um, meet and get together now on relax i wonder um so i i don't know what that one that's neat and i wonder uh if it wasn't a dream and then this writer did see that on the way to school then that's also amazing because it sounds like all of the um the doors and windows according to them were supposed to be boarded up but that one day the one window apparently was not so, um, neat story there of a sighting of something. Yeah, if you uh, gaze long into the abyss, the abyss also gazes into you. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Um, so, neat story there, and uh, I will move on to the next one. Let's see here, okay. Checking everything here in chat. Everything looks okay. Yep. All right. Good. Okay. So um, let's see here. Let me find this one. Okay. There we go. This says about two hours ago, I was downtown. I live in probably the biggest Midwestern city. As I was sitting on the bus, I noticed something absurd. The guy sitting directly across from me had a very weird shadow. The, ban the man looked... I almost said ban, I don't know why. The man looked completely normal. Uh, black man, clean cut, in maybe his mid-30s, wearing a business suit. It looked like the corporate type. But this man's shadow was splitting into multiple smaller shadow blobs, moving around the floor, underneath people and then going back to the man and merging together again this probably sounds absolutely crazy anyway that's all that happened i would have took out my phone to record but this guy was literally in front of me and i was also just too stunned by what i was seeing to think beyond watching it unfold and that's where that story ends. And I have no idea what to make of that one. Um, that is just... That sounds like some kind of energy transfer. Or a field. Going in and out of this. This man. The writer didn't say if they got a bad or good feeling from them. I mean, if it, well, obviously it wasn't too bad because he wasn't doing anything. Um, other than just sitting there. But... Really weird story. I've never heard of... Obviously, we've covered shadow... Shadow objects, whatever you want to call figures, blobs, orbs... Um, before, but never... 
never attached to someone as in like part of their shadow so that is just blew my mind when I, when I saw that today um it says that the the energy the orbs were going underneath the, the the people that were sitting in the bus i wonder if there was some kind of again I, who knows what was going on but some kind of energy transfer going on there or if that was just how some kind of detection or or just i don't know it doesn't sound like there was any ill effects on anyone on the bus at the time so but it is just really it sounds like and now i just wonder and, and of course i hadn't i kind of waited to think about this until i read the story but i wonder so there's two things here that i'm thinking if if this man was um not aware of this going on then what does that mean um is that his subconscious is that him or is that someone or something else or <laughs> the other possibility is that he did know what was going on and it was intentional and that doesn't necessarily mean bad that just means he was aware of what was going on what he was doing um so those two paths either one is fascinating but uh, beyond that i have no idea what to make of that story um again i've you if you do cover enough of these stories in these shows you you find patterns you, you find stories that can kind of fall into one group or another roughly of course never exactly the same but just you have women in white ladies in white you have vanishing hitchhikers you have transparent or translucent apparitions you have shadow shadow forms um just that kind of thing and so this does somewhat call into the or fall into that shadow form category and it's just so different from anything i've ever heard <clears throat> so um yeah really amazed at that story that i found today so i had to share that and i have one more to go and then we'll be done so let's see here okay uh all right there we go it says so last night i was outside at around 9 30 p.m digging up some mushrooms that i didn't know much about so that the wild rabbits in the area wouldn't eat them since they were near where we threw food scraps i didn't have a flashlight or anything because the street lights were just bright enough that i could make out what i was doing this is kind of important for later later in a way i looked up because i heard a noise and right now i don't even remember what the noise was all i know is that my eyes made out what looked like a terrible uh i guess graphic design studio animation of a stick figure they said a name there of a brand i don't want to include that <laughs> uh stick figure with no head it just went up in a straight line and ended <clears throat> and was booking it across my street it looked like height wise it was exactly half the height of the closest street lamp which was mounted to a standard electrical pole you know when you've been staring at a very bright light source for a while and then when you look away or blink you see the outline of that light kind of implanted on your eyes for a bit like whatever shape the light was is dark and then it has a sort of fuzzy gray haze around it this is exactly what the stick thing looked like dark with the hazy gray outline except it was moving it was over so fast and i e even blinked a few times <clears throat> excuse me to try and see it again because i genu genuinely thought it was just that effect in my eyes but i hadn't been using any flashlights and the street light has a round cloudy cover around the bulb so I couldn't have even seen the light bulb itself in any way. 
I'm still not incredibly sure that this wasn't my eyes playing tricks on me. In fact, I'm really only about 60% sure that it was real. I'm just posting to share and see if anyone else has seen something similar. At least in the moment, it was so scary to me, and I was so convinced that I'd seen it, that I literally started crying back inside. I'm possibly being overdramatic. I just had no explanation. So that's the end of that story. Um, and they they were wondering about anyone else seeing stick figures, and the answer to that is yes. That is a thing that people see once in a while. That's a, that's a whole other category um, of apparitions, if you want to call them that, entities, whatever. Um, and sometimes they're more complex. They're made of multiple sticks to make up the figure. Other times it's more basic, like this one apparently was. But um, still amazing that they saw this, this stick figure outside at night like that. <clears throat> um, and it was only visible, I'm guessing, because of the street light, even though the light wasn't that bright. Um, so really amazing sighting there as well of something that has no easy explanation. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I used to think that all these figures that people see were exactly what they saw, but then finding stories over the years of multiple people seeing, looking in the same direction and seeing different things, now it makes me wonder if these stick figures are look differently to other people. Maybe they don't look like stick figures to certain people or in certain situations. Either way, it's still amazing that these figures look like that at all to anyone. Because you can't describe that as, as at least at, at its face value, at, at, as it appears as a person. Because it's just made of this these dark lines. Or sometimes there, there'll be even be dark lines with white lines attached as well. Um, so, yeah, amazing sighting there. I don't blame the writer for being uh, startled and then reacting afterward the way they did. Um, sounds like, though, whatever this was didn't have any interest in interacting with the writer. They just ran across the street. So, um, amazing story there as well. But uh, that, that's all I have for today. Um, thank you all for listening. And uh, again, the plan for the week is um, True Paranormal Stories today and Tuesday, Paranormal News tomorrow and Thursday, and then another episode of Comic Books and the Paranormal um, is the plan for Wednesday with Derek. So, yeah. I must read that. I said I would be laughing hysterically if I ran into a walking stick figure. Yeah, because how is it doing that? How is it moving? How is it appearing that way? There's just so many questions um, to, that 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 one comes up with in that situation. So, but um, thank you all for listening, and I'll be back tomorrow night uh, with paranormal news on the next episode of Salcedo Paranormal. Take care, everyone.